We've recommended that YouTubers use the DDV Lav microphone if you want to upgrade your audio for just $50, but we've gotten questions like where is the best place to put the mic and what do you do if you want to hide a microphone on the person? I'm going to cover all of that and give you four audio tips that I've learned over the years to help you get better audio. You got to just press record. Hey guys, my name is Noel Molt with Think Media. Let's first talk about where is the best place to put a microphone and really it just depends on what you're wearing. If you're wearing a t-shirt, the best place to put it is right here, just below the mouth on the collar using that clip. Now, if you have a soft t-shirt like the one I'm wearing right now, you're gonna notice when you put it on, it's gonna pull underneath your shirt. It's gonna look like a V-neck or you'll get some weird folding lines in that collar. One way that I avoid this is by bringing the wire behind my back over my shoulder and that way the shoulder kind of holds up that wire and holds up all of that weight so that the microphone on the collar is not going to be tugging down to the ground. If you're wearing a button up t-shirt, you want to put the mic about six inches away from the mouth. Now before placing your mic, what you can do is add a loop in the wire and this is definitely going to help if you tug on the wire. It's not going to pull off and fly off of your shirt, but you're going to have a little bit of give there. So if the wire does get tugged on, you still have that loop to help keep that microphone from popping off. All right, but what if you're wearing an open shirt or a jacket? You're gonna put the microphone just a little bit higher, trying to keep it around six inches from the mouth. Definitely use that loop method on this as well, but the tricky thing here is keeping those wires hidden. I definitely recommend picking up some gaff tape. We'll have some link in the description below, and you wanna use this to tape it to the inside of the shirt or the inside of the jacket, and that is gonna help keep the wires hidden behind the shirt. All right, now I got four quick tips for you, and this is really gonna help level up your audio, but first like this video, Video and then comment down below. Let me know what kind of microphone are you using for your YouTube videos? Do you have a mic? Are you just using your phone or camera? Or do you have something like this? Let me know in the comments down below. Now, plugging in your microphone directly to your camera like I'm doing right now is nice because it just synced right to the video. So when you hit record, your audio and video are gonna be recorded together. But if you want a bit more flexibility, maybe you're doing a workout video, a yoga video, a cooking video, something like that where you need to move around a lot and you don't want a wire attached to your camera, what you can do is plug this into something like a Zoom H1, any audio recorder, and this can go in your pocket and then you're free to roam around wherever you want. The nice thing is this microphone also works on smartphones. So you can plug this directly into a smartphone, go to your voice memo app, you can hit record, put that in your pocket, and you're gonna be set to move around wherever you want. Then you just need to sync your audio to your video. And at the beginning of your video, all you need to do is clap. And this is going to give a spike in your audio. It's gonna give a spike in the audio on your camera. Then you can line those up and your audio will be seen. So that is tip number one, plug into an audio recorder or a phone for more flexibility. If you're looking to buy a microphone, I do recommend the DD VLAV mic because it can go into a smartphone, it can go into your camera, and that's actually what I'm using right now going directly into my Sony camera. So take a listen to how it sounds as I talk about today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by StreamYard, which is our go-to live streaming platform when it comes to streaming to Facebook and to YouTube, especially when we're bringing on multiple people to the stream. It has a very easy to use interface for doing cool transitions, bringing text on the screen, and also bringing on guests. This really is the perfect platform for new and experienced creators, and you can use the link in the description to get $10 off your first month. Let's get into tip number two. This one is gonna be perfect for those of you who do a podcast or maybe an interview show where you're talking to someone else. And this is definitely a mistake I made early on, and you really don't think about it until you get into the editor and you hear how it sounds. Let's say I have someone right here, and I'm gonna be talking to this person the entire time. Now, naturally, my head is going to be tilted like this, and I'm gonna be talking to this person. Now, I've made this mistake before where I've clipped the microphone onto this side of their body. Now, the problem was, as they were facing this way, the audio didn't pick up as loudly as I thought it would because their head was turned like this the entire time. So the second tip is to place the microphone on the side closest to the mouth. So someone on this side talking this way, you wanna put that microphone on this side of them because their mouth is facing facing that way. Tip number three is to use gaff tape to hide a lav mic. If you wanna hide a microphone and tape it to a shirt or tape it to a jacket, you can use some gaff tape to do that. But remember to use that loop method because especially when you're using just tape instead of the clamp, this microphone can be tugged off a lot easier. So you wanna make sure that you have the loop there as a safety precaution. Now, if your only option is to tape the microphone to the skin to hide it underneath something like a t-shirt, what you can do is use some medical tape or moleskin like this and that is tip number four. What you wanna do is cut off a piece and put that on the skin 
moleskin and then you are going to lay down your lav mic and place another piece of moleskin on top of it forming a sandwich. Keep in mind when you do something like this the microphone can often rub against the clothes if they're moving around and give you some unwanted noise inside of your mic. However if you have a scene where two people are just sitting down talking to each other or someone is talking straight to a camera like this for a YouTube video this is going to work fine and you shouldn't really get any noise from those clothes moving around. Click on the screen right now to watch our VLAV mic review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.